Hello, in this video, we'll be looking at three easy ways to add a fully customizable top bar to the Beaver Builder theme. And we'll be looking at the pros and cons of each of these options. In this particular example, we are using it to take subscriptions, but you could add any content you like. Now the Beaver Builder theme already comes with some top bar options, which are set in the customizer. It allows us to output social icons, text, and menus. We can arrange these in different order and also do some basic styling but if we want to get the real power out of the beaver builder plugin we can use short codes which enable us to save templates of styled content and output those to various places in our theme and that's what we're going to be doing here so let's move on with our first option so our first option is probably the easiest. We are going to use the top bar options that are available in the Beaver Builder theme already. So we go into the customizer, into header, over to top bar layouts. And all we need to do is to set it to one column and select the text area. And uh, we put in our short code over here. Now, if you don't know about short codes, please don't worry about this. I shall leave all that you need in the notes under the video but I don't wanna to waste too much time on covering that. But basically I've set up this template on another page, saved them as, and this is uh, the name for that template and it's output in that content. Okay, so let's look at the, the pros and cons of doing it this way. Well, the first thing to mention is that I've had to do a little bit of CSS styling to make it show like this. Uh, this text is actually centered here, but otherwise it, if I put it to a line left, it would be lining up with the logo here. Uh, as this is pretty much lining up to the end of the contact here, which is the the width of the container here. Okay, so let's go over to my CSS editor so I can show you what's happened. Because it is a text module, it's got its own styling. So we are sort of fighting against that and it's got some padding. And I think also the width is set to about 66% where we want it to be 100%. So I needed to add a few CSS styles, one for the container to remove the padding and another one to also remove a little bit of padding and set it to 100%. So these will be below the video so you can add these. If we didn't have them on, let me just show you what that looks like. Uh, everything gets centered and squashed up a little bit so there's less space. But if that suits you, you don't need to add the CSS at all. So let's just go back again here. Now, what's the pros and the cons of this? Well, it's very easy, obviously, to do this. We can do it all in the customizer. And it also allows us to carry on doing some of the styling. So we can use the top bar styling over here. So as you can see, I've got a background color uh, going across the hole that's gray and i could easily set that to a new color change the opacity on that as well i could also add in a background image let me just do that because i already set one up here uh okay we can set all options there and obviously we can change a little bit of the link text color and the text color can be set here so I could just change here so it's handy to make those modifications if we're taking it this route another advantage would be in say uh, I used to run a e-commerce shop and we used to have different promotions at different times of the year so this could be quite handy particularly perhaps for a client to make it easy to be able to just change so imagine that you've saved a number of templates one called Christmas one called Easter well then it would only be a matter of making sure that you change the name to change those over from the customizers so there's some pros to doing it this way but if we really needed full width proper full width content we are restricted so this is our main con with this because we're actually putting this content into a text module it's contained within the container, whatever the width is set for the theme, uh, it's set within this. We can't actually put the content that we've made in our template and have that show all across the top. So we are restricted in that way. So I think that pretty much covers that. Let's move on to option number two. And option number two is adding a snippet to our child theme in functions PHP. But just before I do that, I think I better just set this to none so we don't have two top bars. And we'll just need to save that and move out of here. So I'm working locally so I can show you uh, the themes in the back end here. So uh, here's my folder, there's my child theme and if I open up my functions PHP, you'll see that I've already added the snippet that's needed. I've just commented it out so it's not functioning at the moment. But let's 
uncomment that so it's working now so it's a simple short code here that's just adding an action and this is the key bit it's putting it in an area called fl before top bar so effectively this is an area a hookable area in the beaver builder theme where we can put content and it's just telling it to show this short code so uh, we've set that to none so if i now save this and do a refresh let's get this out of the way we should see that it's added that short code to the top there okay so we can see it here and before i had a pattern on that so you can see it's a different one altogether but you'll notice here that it's got a gray background well this is really just the background to the actual theme we can change this by changing the uh, background color for the whole of the um, theme so let's just go into customizer so i can just show you so we need to go into general i think and with yes background and there we are that's the color that's showing so if i was to change this to a red this would be the whole background for the site and this will change too so again with this option it's full width here so whatever we set up will show full width if we set up uh, these to be full width that's how it will show if we set these up with a background uh, that would show uh, instead of this over here so and that's the second option pretty much covered what's the downside of this well again it's a case of going into your functions php and you can do this in the back end by going into appearances editor and selecting out uh, theme functions over here and you can make your changes but of course that it, puts you at risk of breaking the whole site so that's really the main downside of this and there's not that easy option uh, to be able to just change out those templates as you like okay so that's uh, option two covered let's move on to option three and option three is the one that I would probably use and it is a paid option it's using beaver tunnels now as it says here be let's beaver builder travel outside of your content and that's exactly what we're doing we're putting it into theme areas it works with the beaver builder theme and it also works with Genesis and I will just show you the pricing of it I've gone for the unlimited because I make many sites and I expect to be using this quite a lot uh, it's only 19 for a single site and it comes with like beaver builder itself comes with a 40% renewable discount so I just wanted to show you this now if all you wanted to do was do what we've done in this example it wouldn't be worth buying this but it can do a lot more but let me just show you this and so let's go back and uh, set this up so let's get rid of this uh, hideous red on the background and set it back to a normal setting here also otherwise that background will be showing elsewhere and we also need to get rid of uh, option number two which uh, i'll just comment out the code that we were using and save that okay get rid of that and i think when we refresh it it should be back to normal okay so right we're as we should be now so when we install the beaver tunnels plugin we get these extra options and we get a little guide to the beaver builder theme which shows us and this is what i really like it shows us all the different hookable areas where we could be putting out these content areas so here as we can see we were using the before top bar that was the one that we were hooking in in example number two and uh, if we changed over to a blog template we would show different hookable areas so we could be adding say content so in the case of ours where we have a subscription form we might want to add that subscription form to the end of a blog post and that would allow us to do this kind of thing so and all we do with this is we would go over to um one of our let's go back into dashboard we need to go over to our templates and the template we were working with so it's subs three and if we go in to edit this not from the front end editing the back end editing this is where we find all the beaver tunnel options and there's much more here this is where we can actually easily add conditions so we can show them to certain users at the bottom or we can uh, decide whether they're going to show on pages and posts and it, which individual ones or which categories so there's a lot more flexibility at hand here uh, with this so let's just set it up in the most basic terms we need to put it as we already know it's before 
for the top bar. Let's go find that. Okay, that's the one we need to select. I'm going to have it show on all pages and posts so it's similar to the other two options. Okay, and we'll just update that. If we just open up another tab, we should see it. There, there we are. So with this one, we've added it uh, just like that for a few clicks on here. As I say, this is the way that I would use things, but you know, when it comes to conditionals, that's not the only option. You know, this obviously gives you much more flexibility uh, and I really like Beaver Tunnels. I think it's really great to work with if you're going to be outputting content to lots of different areas in your theme, makes it a lot easier to work with. But of course, you know, if you don't want to spend money on this, you can do it for free. And uh, you know, like I put that snippet in there, that was a simple snippet, but we can also add conditions. So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, I really suggest that you go over to beaverchildthemes.com and look up Grant Ambrose's blog post on how to use hooks in the Beaver Builder theme. And he really gives you a good start and pretty much everything you need to start working with hooks more and uh, where to those hookable areas are and how to uh, set some conditions. So I think he gives an example down here. Yes, that's it. It gives an example here where if it's on the front page and it's a single meaning a post uh, you show that short code so he gives you an example of how to start these things so you could do all of what beaver tunnels do what beaver tunnels does is make it just so much easier so i'm not trying to sell at you i have got an affiliate link below but uh you know pick whatever's going to work best for you anyway i hope that was all useful and thanks very much for listening if anybody's got any uh, suggestions then please let me know it's always useful and um well i'll talk to you soon in the next video thanks bye bye